Module 3, Lesson 1. The objective is to investigate and use the formulas for area and perimeter of rectangles. Here we're asked to find the perimeter of rectangle D. And then so this is a rectangle here, and it is labeled as rectangle D. The perimeter is the distance around the rectangle. So we'll start in a corner, and then we can actually count. So we have, and the distance around it. So we have one unit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units, nine, 10, 11 units, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. And then so, the perimeter is 22 units. Was there an easier way to figure that out? Hmm. So when we started, we had this distance here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that there is actually 8 units. And that there is the width of the rectangle. So we have the rectangle and rectangle D where its width is 8 units. Now its length is one, two, and three, and three units. So we can go ahead and write that on out. So we have the length as three units. What do we know about the width here at the bottom of the rectangle? It also is what? Hey, it also is eight units. So let's write that in. And is there something that we know about this side of the rectangle? It also is three units. Now to figure out that perimeter then, what did I do? I just went ahead. An easier way might have been to just add eight plus three plus eight plus three. Let's write that out. Perimeter is equal to eight plus three plus eight plus three. Eight plus three is 11 plus another 11 which is 22 units. So I have shown how it is to figure out the perimeter of that rectangle of rectangle D. Again, that's the distance around the rectangle. Here, we're asked to find the perimeter and area of rectangle M. The width is one, two, three, four, four units. So our perimeter we will figure out is four plus, and then let's write that into the figure as well. And then so again, that's four units. And then our length is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and seven units. So we have four plus seven, plus another four for the bottom, and for the left-hand side, another four. 4 plus 7 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 7 is 22 units. Now our area, how do we figure out the area of this rectangle? One of the ways is to actually count the number of squares, because we're talking about square units. Let's count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Count with me. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Or twenty-eight square units. Was there an easier way to figure that out? Maybe you wanted to count four at a time. So count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Now even easier than that would to be to use the formula. Area is equal to length times width. The length again was seven units and the width was four units. So when we go seven units times four units, seven times four is 28. 
And that's why we get, when we're multiplying units by units, that's why we get square units. Be very careful again about the labels that you use. And be sure to show your work when you are figuring out perimeter and area of those rectangles. Okay, it is your turn to try. It says draw a rectangle that is 7 units wide and 6 units long and find its perimeter and area. Be sure to show your work. Use that piece of graph paper. Pause that video while you continue your work. Our width that I draw first was 7 units. Our length is 6 units. Be sure that you have your labels there. This also is a width of 7, and this also here is a length of 6. For our perimeter, we are adding together 7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 6. With your graph paper, maybe you counted it. Did you remember to label? It was 26, and 26 what? Be sure that you wrote units. With the area, we actually just multiply our length times our width. So that's 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42, and that's 42 square units. So we'll continue to learn about rectangles, thinking about describing them by their perimeter and also by their area. Within this problem, we're asked to determine the perimeter. And then so we have a perimeter where the width is 2 meters 50 centimeters, and the length is 75 centimeters. You'll notice we're no longer working with units, hey, but we have our metric units for distance. The steps are much the same way. Where it is, we'll just use our formula where we're adding those distances. And in this case, we'll have to add four of them. So we add two meters and 50 centimeters. We'll add it together with two meters and 50 centimeters again. And then we'll also add that to 75 centimeters and 75 centimeters. What we can do is we can rewrite all of that with centimeters. So 2 meters 50 centimeters is 250 centimeters plus 250 centimeters plus 75 centimeters still plus 75 centimeters. 250 plus 250 is 500, so we have 500 centimeters plus 75 plus 75, which is 150. So we can go ahead and add those two together to get 650 centimeters. And that there is our perimeter. We can also write that as mixed units. And what I mean, how many centimeters are in a meter? Did you say 100? How would you write this as mixed units then? It would be 6 meters, 50 centimeters. Here's another type of problem. Given the rectangle's area, find the unknown side length. So here I have this rectangle, and the given area is 40 square centimeters. Do you remember what that formula for area is? Area is equal to what? Length times width. So our width of our rectangle is 4. It's 4 wide. So let's plug that in, and then so that's 4 centimeters times what? 
equaling the area of 40 square centimeters. What? And then so that x centimeters, that's the unknown that we're trying to solve for, or that variable. What goes in there? What would that be? Did you say 10? Let's plug that in. 10 times 4, and it would be 10 centimeters, that is. 10 times 4 is 40. And then so that's 40 centimeters times centimeters, which we can also write as 40 cm, like this right here. And we call this right here square centimeters. So we have 40 square centimeters. And so that 10 centimeters is the side length. The side length there and that missing side length is 10. 10 what? 10 centimeters. That side length and that missing side length is 10 centimeters. So that 4 times 10 does give you 40 square centimeters. Find the missing side length when given the rectangle's perimeter. Perimeter is 100 meters. This is right here. This is the missing side length. So we have 30 here for the length. So we know that this side here is also 30. Now, hmm, we have 30 here, we have 30 here. What would this be here? Well, actually, we don't know, do we? In other words, it also is x. What will we do to figure out the perimeter? We would start adding those things there. Where we have 30 plus 30, which is what? Right, 60. But we also have to add x twice because those are the unknown side lengths. 30 plus 30 is 60, and we actually have what all this equals, because we were given that there, that perimeter was 100 meters. So 100 is equal to 60, plus some unknown value, plus another unknown value, that missing side length. 100 is equal to 60, plus blank plus blank. All of this here, the two x's, would have to equal what? 60 plus what number is 100? Did you say 40? That means x plus x is 40. Do you know the missing side length? Did you say 20? x is equal to 20 or 20 meters. The missing side length is 20. Let's write that in. Twenty plus thirty is fifty, plus another twenty is seventy, plus thirty is a hundred. Yes, it works. How would I get rid of the sixty if I was to continue my work? What's the opposite of it? Right, minus sixty. And if I do that to one side of the equation, what must I do to the other so that it stays balanced? I would subtract 60. 100 minus 60 is 40. 60 minus 60 is 0, leaving us with two numbers where it is that they must be the same number adding together to get 40. And those two numbers would be 20, because 20 plus 20 is 40. So we'll continue to work with rectangles, areas, and perimeters and different types of problems.